In today's lesson, I'm showing you the importance of angles when playing pool. Especially beginners don't like angles when it comes to putting balls. The straighter the shot is, the better they think it is. Yes, that's true. Shots become easier when straighter, of course. But when it comes to positional play, there is one very important thing you have to realize. The less angle you have on a ball, the less places you can reach with the cue ball on the table, or the harder it gets to reach those places. So angles are our biggest friend. I have prepared 5 situations for you that will show you that principle. And at the end of this lesson I got a very famous example what can happen if you don't have enough angle. So let's get straight into our first situation. As you see I'm stopping the cue ball, I'm on the right side of the 9 ball to go into the rail and to the other side of the table. But it's not enough angle. See how hard I have to hit the cue ball and still come to short. So I'm hitting the cue ball way harder to go to the 10 ball and this time I have enough speed but I lost control over the cue ball and can't predict where the cue ball is going and I scratched. So here I better follow the cue ball with right hand side to get position. But I'm a long way in the danger zone where I don't have a shot except for a bank. And as you see I'm going towards the side pocket again. So let's just avoid that and give ourselves a little bigger angle. Now I can just use the natural path of the cue ball, manipulate it a little bit with left hand side and go to the exact point on the rail. So as you see, I'm just having way more control over the cue ball because I don't have to force anything. In our next example we have this situation. And what beginners would do here is to just follow a little bit so that the shot on the 9 gets easier. But what happens here is, I have to force the cue ball again to go up table and hit it really hard because I'm hitting the 9 ball very full. And because of that I over hit the ball. So I'm deciding to draw the cue ball back. I am now further away from the 9 ball, but since the 9 ball is hanging over the pocket, the putt is not that tough. Now it's much easier to go up table. But you see I got too short. So now a short excursion. When I'm playing the 9 ball I use the short rail to get position. Because then my margin for error is just smaller. The cue ball can be somewhere on that green line and I will always have a shot. Well I understand if you now say that's way too tough. So another way to get an easy position is to use that other angle. Just follow the cue ball and avoid the scratch. And here again you want a big angle on the 9 ball so that you can go up table with a little bit of supporting right hand side. Hit the second rail and get a nice and very easy position for the 10 ball. In this example I also want to get on the right side of the 9 of course. And again I play for the bigger angle. Because if I play for that slight angle on the 9 I have to risk to come too short and have to go the long way all around the table. And as you see, even a bigger angle poses no problem. I can just play the same shot and roll the cue ball in. This example is similar to the first situation. I just play a stop shot and have to force the cue ball up table. See what happens when I just follow the cue ball a little more. Do you see the difference in my strokes? I didn't have to work hard on the right side, where I had the bigger angle on the 9 ball. On the left side you see how hard I had to hit and how I had to force the cue ball. Both ways are possible of course, but we want to make it as easy as possible to get position for the next ball. And that's obviously easier with more angle on the 9 ball. Same here, I just play a stop shot and have to force the cue ball and play a draw shot. But this is dangerous because I have to use the right side of the pocket to create an angle and that way I can easily miss. 
So on all these shots, we should have learned one very important lesson. Step behind the 9 ball and look what angle you wanna have. From there I'm seeing a stop shot is very bad choice. So I decide to draw the cue ball back to have a nice angle on the 9 ball. But I don't agree 100% with that shot. You see, I overran the position and get a tougher shot on the 9 ball than it should have been. So again, I'm stepping behind the 9 ball and see that this angle on the 9 ball is perfect to get easily to the 10 ball. I have to be a little careful because I'm flirting with the side pocket. But to prevent it, I played the shot soft enough so that the cue ball will never reach the side pocket, even if the line is going exactly towards it. So what have we learned in this lesson? The right angle makes it easier to go to the next ball. More angle, not too much of course, will give us more options. The less angle, the less places we can go with the cue ball and step behind the next ball and think where you want to be for the next ball. That's the free ball ahead principle from my video everything you have to know about positional play. Well I know not everyone likes angles in a ball because it makes the shot of course harder. But if you not have enough angle and have to force something to get to the next ball the shot also becomes harder. So you have to train these angles that shots with angle do not pose a problem for you anymore. He was trying to cheat the pocket a little bit to get the cue ball to go past the side. But you